Welcome back to The Truth with Trinity, and I am your host, Trinity. And if this is your first time tuning in to the podcast, welcome once again. And on this podcast, I talk about issues that happen within the Black community, um, advice, and food for thought. So the topic of this discussion is education to our Black children in society and and the public school systems and school systems period i have experience with being a parent in the school system and um it's not an easy road but i've taken some steps on my own and i hope to pass along these suggestions to other black mothers and fathers out there to take your child's education into your hands now once again um, you know I, I hate to make this about race but hey some things just simply are about them and statistics but I want to start off by saying that and this is not to say all white teachers I'm sure there's some white teachers that have you know big hearts and they just want to teach their pupils and you know help them learn but the reality is and someone passed this tidbit of information along to me because I just couldn't understand you know you know why if you know there were prejudice you know teachers uh, that happened to be white would teach in uh, primarily black neighborhood schools and someone told me that uh, a lot of the teachers that teach in the urban areas, which uh, primarily, you know, African-American children attend, is that, you know, they applied perhaps to suburban schools, you know, the top schools, and they just didn't cut it. So, you know, they need a job as teachers. So, you know, when they get to the urban school and, you know, the school of choice they applied for, you know, they didn't get in. So they just have a lackadaisical kind of I don't care approach to teaching our children. Not only that, but I'm just going to be honest. They, their purpose is not to teach our children to be more superior than their children because that would, you know, create equality. You know, if we're getting the same education that their children are getting, then um, the educational gap, which would lead to uh, a less of a financial gap. So of course they're not willing to really teach our children what their children are learning. And um, that leads me into us as parents. That's why it's very important for you to gain as much education as you can because you cannot depend on a system um, school that doesn't have any interest to see your child do anything but be a janitor or an employee or a worker okay and uh, I've taken upon myself to homeschool and it, it, it gives me a better um, it gives me better control over my child's success and I encourage that amongst the parents the black parents because that's the only way our children are really going to get taught. Like, for example, you know, when your children are young, two and three years old, um, even four years old, you know, it's great to buy them PlayStations, Xboxes. Trust me, I, you know, I do the same for my kids, you know. But at the same time, I started when my child was young buying them educational toys, uh, reading toys, uh, math, little talking math owls and different little characters and things of that nature. And, I, you know, on her walls, I, you know, I put maps and whatnot because I want her to become acclimated to the 50 states and, or it might be more than that now, but, you know, the world maps. And um, not only that, but I take it into my hands to teach my child and sometimes it's crazy <laughs> though you know the white teachers they um you know they love to talk about our children and their failing rate but they get an attitude because they kind of sense that 
no, honey, I don't need you to teach my child. I'm going to teach my child. Like, I don't need you to do anything but grade her grade her work. And that's what I love about homeschooling because I get the power to teach my child what I want her to know. And I encourage us to do so. So, you know, we definitely want to fight for justice in the school systems, but we need to come to the reality that they are never going to teach our children what they need to know to succeed because that's a threat to their uh, society and wealth. Um, I, like I said, I highly encourage you to spend the time teaching your children. So instead of them learning the rap songs and the new song that you hear on the radio, no, let's crack open a book. You know, I'm going to purchase some books for you. I'm going to invest. Because what you want to do is you want to invest in your child's future. And no one's going to invest in our children but us. And no one should. I mean, true, they're teachers. They need to be doing a, um, a job all across the board, no matter what uh, color students that they teach. But that's not the reality here. So what I'm doing is I'm encouraging the mothers and the fathers. I know it's hard when you come home from work. Trust me, I work. I understand. But I spend a great deal of time teaching, teaching, teaching my daughter because I want her to succeed in life. And um, I don't depend on anyone else to do so. And I encourage other uh, black men and women out there to take the time, even if it's an hour or two out the day, to teach your children, sit down and go over math with them. And that's why it's important as parents, like I said, that we have education ourselves because they get shocked. Oh, yeah, they get shocked when they figure out that, hey, I can teach my child division. I can teach my child algebra now I don't I don't need you to sit up there and teach I'll do it and that's why it's important to teach our young men and women the importance of education so that they will have something to teach their children they will have some type of uh, educational foundation to be able to teach their children because it's it's one thing to um, be able to reproduce and and have a child but you have to have something to offer that child it takes more than name brand clothes it takes more than a playstation a xbox um like i said designer jewel jewelry that's one form of saying you love your child but also making sure that they have the tools in life to succeed is also love so i encourage the parents to take their children's education very seriously sit down work out math problems with them go over reading with them make them read a book a night make them do a book report you know if they fail in school tell them that you're going to take away that game monitor their progress because that's another thing they don't expect for us to be participating in our children's education, you know, they have this preconceived notion about us, you know, um, as blacks that, you know, we love to dance and we love to sing and, you know, uh, we love hip hop and all that type of uh, stuff. But we have no interest in our child's education. And we need to change that. We need to send a message that no, you can't teach my child anything because I'm right there in the books with them and I know exactly what's going on. They don't expect us to know what's going on with our children's uh, assignments and their report cards. Okay, so this is definitely encouragement to put hands on your children's education, their futures. It's up to us. To make sure that we set them up to succeed. We don't need to depend on anyone else to do so for us. If we want to be independent. If we want to be taken seriously. 
if we want our children tr to thrive out here, let's prove them wrong. Let's get those scores up statistically. You know, it's one thing for our children to not have a lot of money and they always like to mention poverty, but poverty does not have anything to do with the mind, the human brain and education. Yeah, we might not have a lot of money, but we can be intelligent. And once we elevate our minds as a people, the rest will follow because that's what is part of what's keeping us down. So we have a system that's keeping us down. OK, but half of that we can solve ourselves and it starts with our youth. It starts with our children, educating them on our history. OK, and I, I like to educate children on further back than just slavery, because that's one thing that you'll see in the history books and the public school systems. They always like to mention slavery as if that's like a brainwashing reminder that that's all we come from. And it's just not true. OK, teach them about the Egyptians. OK, uh, teach them about the Israelites, uh, teach them about the Moors. And if you don't know about it, you know, study yourself so that you will have something to feed your child. OK, because we come from more than just slaves. That's just what they want us to believe. We're so much more than that. We are a great people. We still are. We just need to wake up to who we are. And the rest will follow. Well, that pretty much sums up this segment. I thank you for taking your time to listen. If you have any suggestions or want to contact me, please uh, do so uh, with my email, which is the truth with trinity at gmail.com. It's been a pleasure. Peace and blessings.